today I would like to show um, uh, very much details of every step I have done so far and um, trying to conducting a up-to-date motor control SDK software on the project. Um, the hardware I'm using is uh, actually the F283790D launchpad and hook up to a uh, three-phase gallium nitride inverter. And now I am activate the CCS. Uh, the version I'm using is 9.2.0. I'm choosing a new work space and launch it. All right, now I'm going to load up the provided project files by import CCS project, and then browse the directory. I know it is installed in C drive TI folder and C2K and SDK folder. From there, I go to the uh, solutions and then go to the three-phase GAN inverter folder and then I'm choosing F283790 and go to CCS, sensor the FOC and then select the folder and then finish it so it is importing the CCS project and I did select all and now to now Alright, from here you can tell the project is loaded and I'm activating the F28379 ramp and uh, this is the target file. So I think I have everything all set. So before really building the project, I need to go to the this included file because I'm looking for the setting header file it's do access servo drive settings and from this file I'm giving the build level to be level 1 okay because this is the first step and by the way I'm using this particular application report authored by Ramesh and Yan Ming and which I really appreciate the details provided here uh, step by step so by the first step there I'm setting uh, this header file like this and then I believe I'm ready to build it so I right click here and choose rebuild the project all right it takes longer than I thought to to finish the building but anyways it's there um, no error one optimization advice which I can ignore I believe and then from here I go ahead to click the debug button up here so I was suggested by um, Matt in E2E forum to choose only CPU one so I did it okay All right, here we go. This is the debug perspective. From where I, according to the provided report I follow, um, I click real time mode and then click run. And then in the expressions, I load the provided expressions uh, which are a bunch of variables I need to play with from this directory and then you can see what's going on here 
not seeing you showing up, uh, which is weird. So what I can do now is I terminate it, and then redo the debug. Enable the real time and run it. It's already showing up some memory map prevented uh, message here, which is weird. And enable flag this particular variable is showing value of 2989, which does not make sense at all. It's supposed to be zero, in my opinion. Um, and I don't think it's, it's because of this type of the data. Anyways, if now I do enable it by type one here and click enter, you see this error popped up. So if I try root retry, And then I disable the real time and then terminate it. Okay, go back to here. What I can do try now is actually debug it again. I was suggested by uh, GI in the forum as well um, to do something differently on the real time mode. And here we go. So this time I choose to run it first okay, without clicking the load time. It seems better uh, you know, by the value zero here and then enable the real time refresh and then enable this run and then click OK. This time the SR ticker is upgrading, which is good news. However, if now I enable the real time mode like this, as I not seeing any error reported, and uh, the next step is to show the graph of space vector duty cycle by using the graph tool, so due time tool, and import the debug folder, this two uh, graph files, and if I click OK, if everything works fine we should be able to see the normal space vector duty ratio which looks like a, a sinusoidal waveform with third harmonic component however here it's showing nothing so i believe do somewhere is wrong even though from here we can't see any mistakes so at last i disabled it Quit the real time. Terminate this. This is what I have. And I really hope uh, anyone could pick up any mistakes I made and or provide some suggestion to really fix this problem because it's not working at all. And uh, of course, by the first step or, or say the first level build, I don't think I need to hook up the gallon nitride inverter since I'm just uh, observing the space vector duty ratio. I don't know this matter uh, or not, um, but I'm not connecting to the inverter, not yet. 
All right. Thank you.